Introducing the Delacorte VI Analyzer Test Package. We're going to start with a clean installation of LabVIEW, where if I open a VI and I were to put a control, the terminal is placed as an icon. That's just one of the examples of things that the, the toolkit is going to do. Also, on the LabVIEW data folder, we don't have a dictionary and we don't have a Delacorte folder. Once I install the package, we are going to be seeing that there's going to be a dictionary added and a Delacorte folder. We don't offer this package via the tools network because we customize it for each customer, depending on their needs and on their style guideline, because the style guideline is going to be different for each organization. The base package includes three configurations, the analyzer configurations for different types of projects, as well as our style guideline. Like I said, uh, the package also includes a VI Analyzer User Dictionary, and this is used for the spelling function on the VI Analyzer test. Um, these are based out of the ones that can be uh, downloaded for the example suite. Um, you can see here we are using the example style guidelines, and there's a link over where you can find the original one. And we only change the uh, coloring to show Delacore. Of course, this one was not part of the one that you can download online. And uh, we also included some tests that can be downloaded from the VI Analyzer Enthusiast Group. And you will find here in, di in different uh, sections the color coded as to what tests are being tested via VI Analyzer. So for example, never route a wire behind an object or a structure that's test via the VI Analyzer. After the installation finishes, we do need to restart LabVIEW. I know this is normally not needed when you install packages, but because we're changing some of the tokens on the INI file, we require to restart uh, LabVIEW to see these changes. Okay, when LabVIEW uh, has rebooted, I can show you that if I put a control, now it is placed as a terminal. So that was one of the many changes that were done uh, with the package. You can see the list of changes that have been done by looking at the description of the VI Analyzer package. So some of them are highlighted here and they also are present on the style guideline. All right, so let's start by opening a, a small project that we have created. So the, like I said, it's a very simple project. If we open the VI, it has a little misspelling there, a heartbeat when I click process, there's a VC cursor. Uh, that runs for three seconds. We can stop the program by closing the front panel. Very, very simple code, okay? However, we have uh, hidden certain issues here. So what we're gonna start by preparing our VI analyzer. So I'm gonna say analyze VIs, and we are gonna ask it to load a previously configured uh, configuration. And of course, we're gonna use one of the three configurations that were installed with the package. So to do that, we are going to go to My Documents, LabVIEW Data, and you can see that we have the Delacore CFG templates. And from there, I'm going to choose to use the Delacore CFG internal. And we are going to save it in our project because we don't want to save the templates that are going to be used by others, right? So if I go to My Project, uh, I already had a placeholder for that. So we're just going to put it here, and I'm just going to change the name to demo. And we are going to add, as a top-level item, the current folder. And that includes all the VIs. And of course, right now, like I said, I have a single VI, so there's not much to do there. And um, we chose as a template, as a starting point, some of the typical uh, tests that we like to run. But one of the things that we recommend to our customers is that they revise uh, frequently or after each code review if there are any tests that are not needed for this particular project. We have the test that ship with VI Analyzer. We have the ones that we downloaded from the example suite and we have marked them as such on the note. It says where we got them from, so you know that you can get them for free there. And then we have included some of the custom tests that we have done for our customers and for our own use. This is a subset of those tests. So we can see here that uh, I have one that's called the cursor VI error output, and we're going to see in a minute why we need that. 
And we also have this one here that lets us uh, detect if we have the wrong uh, icon. So if I wanted to see icon view, then if, if I wanted to see terminal view, then I want to return failures if it, if it is an icon view. Now, none of the tests that shift with BI Analyzer modify code. However, it, this is possible. And this particular test does modify code if you set it to. So we can tell it not only to identify it, but go ahead and change it. Uh, for now, I'm not going to change it so I can show you how it works. And then on the next uh, test, we will change it. So this uh, section here allows you to uh, change a specific uh, test to be run only on a particular BI. Oh, let me go back and show you that on documentation, user spell check, this is where the dictionary gets added um, that we install for you with the developer package. So I'm going to analyze and say yes, we're going to save our changes and we are going to analyze uh, our BI. Now, obviously, because we have a single BI, this is not going to take that long. Okay, once the test, you can sort by BI or sort by test. In our case, because we have a single BI, it's almost the same thing, but I, I like to sort by test. You always want to address the tests that have a red exclamation mark because those are, those are the high rank tests. And if you see here, it says that we have a function that is not entirely visible. So let me show you that when I run and I stop by closing the front panel, it closes nicely. But when I press the done, I have a can you find me. And if you look at the code for the done, you don't see that code. However, VI Analyzer has found it for us. And you can see that it's highlighting something that seems to be out of view. And the reason for that is that this event structure is set to uh, not auto grow. And there it is. There's the culprit that uh, is causing us an issue here. So, you know, at this stage, you can decide to delete it so you don't get that warning um, anymore the next time. All right, so that's that. Then, um, I'm going to go to the cursor. So this is one of those tests that were created uh, internally. And we have a description. The error output of the set VC is wire. The cursor VIs can sometimes return errors in applications that show and hide multiple panels on a regular basis. So consider using these VIs without wiring their error outputs. And again, this is something from our style guideline. It has um, come back and been used in the past so many times. And there are bugs that are difficult to, to find that uh, we just put the clear errors. I'm going to do a control I to insert it. Okay, so that's how I'm going to be addressing that. And uh, for now, I'm just going to check that. Oh, there's the spell check as well. Uh, so it's going to find my little misspell there that I have. I'm going to just delete it, file, save. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save my results. Now, it, it by default, it suggests that you save it um, with a, a date, but since we are using source code control, uh, I'm going to let the source code control utility keep track of versioning, and I'll save my results on the same file every time. Okay, I'm going to show you uh, another one of the issues that we need to solve. In the block diagram, you can see that this terminal is set as icon. This time, we have the setting for the um, icon view on the Velocore test set to correct compared to the view. Now, you'll see, and that there's a warning, etc. You'll see that, in general, um, the BI analyzer test, or all the BI analyzer tests that ship with NI do not change code. Uh, however, it is possible to do that. And in this particular case, that's what we're going to be doing. We are going to grab that BI and modify its view. So when I select it and I double click on it, it highlights that it has already been changed from icon view to terminal view. So this way, at least you can go back and check what were the, uh, the items where the tool did the changes. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it at that. You can explore all these other uh, changes um, when it's convenient to you and you try the package. Um, if I go to my project, like I said earlier, I already have source code control, so I'm not going to be using the date format. And uh, I can say that I'm done. The analyzer is a package that's included, uh, that's not included with LabVIEW. To know if you have it installed or not, you can go to Tools, BI Analyzer, 
And if you have the three menu items shown here, you have the analyzer installed. Please note that if you had downloaded in the past VI Analyzer tests, like the example tools ones, uh, you would see these two menu items, but you wouldn't see the one uh, that creates the new test. Uh, 